Taking a look now at some news from North Carolina and Virginia. Both, sta both states felt the impact of tropical storm Ophelia when it made landfall on Saturday morning, September the 23rd. While the eastern parts of both states felt the direct impact of the storm, the Star News TV viewing area also felt it, but fared rather well, only receiving rain, heavy at times, and gusty winds. But it was enough to cause several events to close down all together, and it also caused a race at Martinsville Speedway to be delayed by one day. Ophelia made landfall at 6.15 on Saturday morning near Emerald Isle, North Carolina, with maximum sustained winds of 70 miles per hour. While the storm's winds steadily weakened throughout the day, periods of heavy rain, gusty winds, and coastal flooding came to parts of North Carolina before Ophelia moved into southeastern Virginia. Ophelia brought heavy rain and storm surge and resulted in flooding across central and eastern portions of North Carolina. As Ophelia made its way north towards Virginia, there were reports of downed trees across central and eastern North Carolina, impacting roadways and downing some power lines. At one point, the North Carolina Department of Public Safety reported more than 50,000 scattered power outages. That was on Saturday morning. In an abundance of caution, swift water rescue teams were staged in areas around eastern North Carolina in case rescues were needed. By 5 o'clock on Saturday afternoon, the National Hurricane Center had reported that the storm was moving out of North Carolina and into southeastern Virginia, although tropical storm conditions remained over the outer banks of North Carolina. Both North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper and Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin had declared states of emergency ahead of tropical storm Ophelia. As previously mentioned, several events around the Star News TV region were canceled on Saturday because of the effects of the storm being felt in the area. That included the Henry County Fair, the Danville, Pennsylvania County Fair, and the Brightleaf Hoedown in neighboring Caswell County. It also caused officials to postpone the Valley Star Credit Union 300, which was at Martinsville Speedway. It was scheduled to be ran on Saturday the 23rd. However, the race took place on Sunday the 24th at the Speedway.